Oh, there's the wire up. Absolutely love this paint. This looks amazing. You know what doesn't? Guess what? Girl. All right, boys, look what we got. Wait, there we go. Lamborghini Charlotte. What belts are shirt? We're going to put it on though. So this is the old right here. Uh, SVJ shirt, you can see, but... This is the Revolto shirt. It actually looks really, really nice. All right, let's just take a quick look around the Revolto. I'm gonna make a like a full in-depth video about it, but we can just see these lines on the hood. They're not that sharp, honestly. Not as sharp as I thought they would be, honestly, but this line on the door, I actually don't really like because it's not that sharp either. Uh, the rear, coming to the rear, this is where it gets like super, super, super sharp and everything is super chiseled. I'm the number one page in the world. It just feels something different because I'm actually gonna film a lot of content for this, so go follow it on Instagram. I actually didn't notice a lot of things, especially these little air filters right here and the buttresses at the back. It's actually way, way bigger than I actually thought. And in pictures, it does not do it justice. And the exposed V12 engine, it just doesn't look real in person because, like, there's no glass. It's obviously controversial, but this diffuser is one of the biggest rear diffusers I think I've ever seen on any production car or actually just in any race car even because it extends all the way up into, like, the middle part of the entire, like, rear end of this thing. The tail lights are inspired by the Terza Millennium, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, uh, but these dual exhausts, they're kind of sort of quad exhaust, but I am so ready to hear a Gintani exhaust on this thing. Such an insane thing i don't even care about the wire as much which is kind of crazy to say speaking that we have a car that's worth like i would say a fifth of the price just looking at the wire in this in the svj and then this beautiful event store pulls up with the front splitter lotus lease leaving right now along with the huracan check this thing out right here that is a gorgeous gorgeous spec you can hear the huracan leaving right now such a freaking beautiful color absolutely love this thing Huracan Evo rear wheel drive, one of my favorite Lamborghinis, besides the Technica and the SVJ, obviously. This is my second favorite Huracan variant. We have another V10 rolling up and a 765LT. This one I think is blue paint or blue carbon fiber, it looks like. Pretty sure this one is MSO, that's what I was saying earlier. Uh, we have the center seat inside, the blue carbon fiber. Yeah, there's an orange beauty leaving out right now. Yeah, Urus is leaving out too. Uh, the other Aventador is also, so you got the trio rolling out right now. <laughs> Feel that in my head. Literally. <laughs> matching STO to the SVJ right there. We have Lamborghini Superbike, one of 630 in the world, and we have two Lamborghini LM002s. I think it's two. McLaren's leaving out right now. I think I'm gonna just go back here and check what they have, because I think there was a C63 Black Series, which is honestly insane to see around here, but this 570S has like the full body kit on it with the chassis mounted wing, the full diffuser, everything. You know what? I actually am gonna go back there. Also, Alpina the XP7 right there, super rare. Oh, it's Inside of the Revolto, you can see the screen moving right now. 
kind of have the same thing as the Huracan going on right here. Uh, we have the Dorsal, as I said, it's smaller than the Aventador, just so it'll be easier to get in. We have this forged carbon fiber chassis right here, as you can see. Uh, the door, it looks pretty cool. We have the hexagon pattern right here. Steering wheel honestly kind of looks similar to the Urus, but it's all carbon fiber, as you would expect. But we have an all-new digital gauge cluster right here. It kind of looks out of place, but we have the middle screen. Then we have a passenger screen on the other side. I'm going to go over here to check it out. Um, try not to get copyrighted for the music, but I'm going to just go over it. These tail are just absolutely insane. Uh, we can just go over here to see the passenger screen. It's not on right now, but that's where it is. And you can just see the speed and everything, um, how fast the driver's actually going, what gear you're in, all that good stuff, just like Ferrari. Uh, but Lamborghini kind of copied it, so I don't know if it's actually a good thing, but still, I think the Revolto is just, just amazing. I just can't believe we're actually in the flesh with this car right here. Look at this beautiful Turbo S. We have the Sally 911 back there, Kind Turbo GT, a newer one right here, beautiful GT3 Touring right here. Then we have a Carrera right here, convertible. Then we have a chalk gray Turbo S. Just stunning, but this, not so stunning at all. It's just hideous, bro. Look at it. Orange on red calipers on orange wheels with, get this, a red interior. Okay. Yeah, so we just moved the Revolto. Not something I thought I would do today, but we gotta get the gains in, boys. Yeah. Monkey? No. Revuelto. Dude, what the actual heck? This is in the back of Tactical Fleets. I think that's what my brother said it's called. We have literally like everything you can imagine. We have a Roma right here. We have another one right there. Turbo S exclusive manufacturer. Another Turbo S Aventador SLS AMG F12. Absolutely gorgeous. We have a 488 best looking car ever made. Huracan Gallardo Aventador. Then that SV over there. Let's go over here to check it out. But then we have a VUO. That's not a Viola Bast. Um, Huracan rear wheel drive. Performante Spider STO. Then we have uh, AMG. Um, GTR outside, Z706 DBX, this event store over here, the SV, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Check out these rims too, I absolutely love this spec, um, the way the rims just work perfectly on this. Then it's also lower, obviously, we have an original event store right here, loving these event store S style wheels that they have. We have a Speedster GT3 RS, a Pista next to an F8, then we have the big boys over there, we have the Cullen and the G-Wagon, the Urus, all the Rolls Royces over there, and Aston Martins. This Pista, it's a pretty simple spec, just the Rosso Corsa and then we have this F8 in my dream spec of a Ferrari the white on red and we have this white pinstripe inside of the red interior it reminds me of like a candy cane almost like a yeah Christmas spec if you want to call it that oh. so cool good lord I love this car I didn't see it
back of McLaren Charlotte. We got the LaFerrari Monkey. We have a Storado F40, Carbon 765, another 765, MSO 765, and one of the best specs ever. Two SF90s, one is a Novatec kit. Pretty sure it's a Novatec exhaust too, but this Giallo mode in the LaFerrari in front of the Koenigsegg, kind of ironic, but two Lamborghini Superbikes, both 63 editions, uh, 630 in the world. Then we got back here a McLaren 620R. We got a McLaren, El or two Elvas actually. And then we got a baby 720S. Uh, they used to have a lot more stuff, but I think they have a lot more in the back. As you can see, we have the DJ Khaled style. Um, what was it called? Oh, there's a Technica right there too. And another Elva, another Elva. Bro, the 4GC is back there. Where? Oh, I see it. Bro, they have two Khaled specs. Virgo. Virgo Al. Please subscribe, lol. I have big dreams on YouTube. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. <laughs> the car craze. <laughs> the car craze.